Hey everyone, this is Lenny here. Time for a brand new trailer reaction and I am ready to just get into this. We're going to take a look at Universal Pictures' Wolfman. Not THE Wolfman, just Wolfman. So, uh, I'm, I've been really interested in seeing this for a while. I know this was kind of put on the back burner for Universal, kind of pretty much after, you know, they tried to start their dark universe. Um, they were going to do try to do like a shared universe of all of their, their universal monsters like the mummy and Dracula and Frankenstein's monster and things like that. And they kicked things off with the mummy with Tom Cruise and that movie flopped hard. And it was like, yeah, I don't think this dark universe thing is going to work. So it looks like that they're just going to do standalone films uh, using the universal monsters, which is cool with me. Um, one of the, the big successes of that was the Invisible Man that uh, that Lee Wannell uh, directed. And Lee Wannell is, uh, you know, one of the big names in horror. He was one of the creators of uh, the original Saw. He uh, did Insidious, I think it was chapter three. Um, and he did Upgrade, which was a, a great movie as well. Um, so he has his hands uh, deep into, into horror. And here it looks like we got Christopher Abbott playing our Wolfman. Um, and you know, obviously when the moon is full, that's when he turns into a werewolf and he causes havoc. That's pretty much the lore of, of, uh, the Wolfman, but um, I'm assuming that Universe is going to take a, a different bent to it. Maybe he has like a lover or, um, a girlfriend or a wife that is unaware or is trying to cope with, um, you know, this, this transformation that he has every once in a while into a Wolfman and we'll see how that all plays out. But yeah, I'm, I love the Wolfman. I love the original. Um, I love any type of, uh, Lycanthorpe, um, story or film if they can pull it off really well. Um, Dog Soldiers, for example, The Howling, American Werewolf in London. Um, you know, those are, are kind of like my classics when it comes to uh, werewolves and werewolf movies. Silver Bullet's another one that I really enjoyed uh, from Stevie King. But we're just gonna go and get right into it. This is the trailer for Universal Pictures' Wolfman. If you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. Bunch of insects? Praying mantis. Okay. What was that thing like? It sounded like an animal. But I swear to this God. This is kind of like the alien like, trailer. If they're gonna, yeah, they're spelling out Wolfman. Are we gonna die? No. It's my job to protect you. What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. Blake, that is scaring me! Blake, stop! Okay. Cool. Alright. Daddy, is that you? Alright. Cool, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, that was the official teaser trailer for Wolfman. And yeah, that, that's an intriguing trailer. It didn't really give away a whole lot. It just kind of sold everyone on uh, the uh, the mood, uh, the scares, the jump scare factor uh, with the Wolfman. And uh, obviously it seemed like the family dynamic as well that, um, that we're seeing here with Christopher Abbott as kind of like the, the head of the family. And Looks like, you know, he has uh, his, his family unit and we're going to see how that dynamic all works out as he changes into a uh, werewolf and turns into the wolfman and just terrorizes um, probably the community he's in and, and his own family. And I, I assume his family is going to be the ones that's going to have to figure out how to uh, put him down, really. And, uh, and that's probably going to end up being kind of like a tragic thing. I, I can kind of see how that, uh, the, the direction that the story might go here. Just based off what I'm seeing in the trailer. But uh, like I said, I love the Wolfman. I love anything that has to do with werewolves. So I'm going to be uh, there and down no matter what to, uh, to watch this movie and to obviously give you guys a trailer for it as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited in seeing this. Uh, it, it is hard to get the Wolfman wrong when... When uh when a movie gets werewolves wrong, it's it's really it's really bad. I'm, I'm talking about like the Twilight movies, or Wolf that had uh, Jack Nicholson, 
and Michelle Pfeiffer. That was way back in the day, and that was a, a really good uh, werewolf movie, uh, at least in my opinion. Um, but but like, this looks promising. This looks like that there's um, uh, you know a case for uh, a really good story that could be here, along with some really good special effects as well. Um, you know, one of the things with werewolf movies is the the, the change. What does it look like? when uh, someone changes into a werewolf. And a lot of audiences like to see that. Um, the Howling and American Werewolf in London probably are the, the, the peak when it comes to werewolf transformation, special effects and movies. Um, so we'll, we'll see what, uh, what this movie brings to the table, if, if any of that's going to be as effective to you. But those are my initial thoughts and feelings on Wolfman. What did you guys think of the trailer? Share your thoughts, leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.